Welcome to this quick tour on Glorify's latest update to our dashboard. When you sign in or sign up into Glorify, the first page you'll come across is My Files within the Home section. Let's explore the key features. Under My Files, you'll find the Suggested Templates tab. Here, you can quickly access any format or size that you need. Next, we have Custom Sizes. This is where you can create and manage all of your custom canvases. To add a custom size, simply click on Add Custom Size on the top right. Give it a title and dimensions. As you can see, we've successfully created our new size. You can manage all your custom sizes by accessing the option menu to rename or delete them. Moving on, you have all files, personal files, and shared with you. In all files, you'll find everything you have access to across all your projects, including personal files. Personal files are private and only accessible to you unless you invite team members or guests. You can invite any team member into your personal files by clicking the options menu and selecting share. Under shared with you, you'll find any files that have been shared with you by other team members within your workspace. This could be a private file of an existing team member or a file from a project that you have not been granted access to. Now let's explore uploads. We've organized uploads into four tabs. To filter across individual file types, simply use the tabs. For better organization of individual file types, we recommend using tags. Find them in the options menu, click add tags, Choose the tag that you wish to add and hit apply. Now to filter your files by that tag, simply go to the filter and choose the tag that you wish to apply by. To add and manage new tags, simply click the settings icon on the top right hand side of the filter menu. Here you can delete tags and rename your existing tags as well as create new tags. Great, let's go ahead and remove the filter. In your upload section, you can add multiple files at once by clicking the plus icon and dragging and dropping all the files you need within the pop-up. You can also click choose file to browse to any file that you wish. As you can see, I've uploaded multiple images at once. From here, you can directly remove the backgrounds. You can now also upload and preview video and audio files directly. Moving forwards, let's talk about projects. In the free plan, you have access to one project. Let's go ahead and create it. I'll give the project a title. You can also add an optional icon if you wish. We'll go ahead and add project. From here, you can invite team members if you want. I'll go ahead and skip this for now. Great, so we're currently inside the project. Inside your project, you can create multiple folders and collaborate with team members. Let's go add a new folder. Now I'll go ahead into my files and move some of my personal files into the project. We'll choose the folder, Home. As you can see, the file successfully moved to my project folder. Each project comes with its own brand kit. This allows easy access to logos, colors, and fonts for consistent branding. Simply add any asset that you need by clicking the plus icon. And lastly, we have Trash. This is where you can find all of your deleted files within a 30-day limit. In this new update, we moved the user settings to the top right. Here, you can access Support, our affiliate page, and switch between Dark and Light mode. We also have your favorites available over here. These are all of the assets that you have saved while browsing our libraries on our editor. These are accessible exclusively to you on any workspace that you navigate to. Let's go into account settings. From here, you can update your profile picture, change your name, your password, and view your workspace settings. As an admin or owner of a workspace, you have control over access and subscription settings. Let's go ahead and click view to access the subscription settings. Here you can see the current plan you're on, the team members that have been invited, as well as the general workspace settings, such as who's the owner and the amount of files and team members within the workspace. You can access the same settings from the top left-hand corner by clicking workspace settings when you're inside a particular workspace. Thank you for listening. I will catch up in future videos.